It's you. Come on in. We were hoping you'd be here today. We have our third soap today from Declaration Grooming. It's a beautiful morning with the barbershop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, and we're so glad you're here. In fact, if you're here during the live premiere, join the chat, say hi. We got a great group of folks Thank hanging you. out. And Come give us a like us. and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. That would be helpful. So today kind of turned into a little bit of a Tom Ford homage day. Absolutely. Not on purpose, but... <laughs> I hit purchase on Mimic from the Razor Company as soon as I saw it. It was an homage to a Tom Ford cologne I had never heard of yeah. before. I'm excited. And for our mentioned today. It ties this in well because we just did our Haverford episode and then of course that meant we had to mosey on over and get this. This is my second EDT from Sterling. That's how impressed I was with the tobacco vanilla homage. And y'all, it's a little heavier on the vanilla side, which <laughs> I love. And this has become a bedtime friend. For yeah, we me. realized that he was using the aftershave constantly, and that usually means we're going to need another layer. So, right. And it's an EDT <laughs> from Sterling, so mm -hmm. not as strong as an EDP, which right. I find delightful at bedtime mm -hmm. when I don't want to like prepare for the day as far as my scent. I just want something to gently sort of rock me to sleep. Just a little warm hug. Perfect concentration here. So I love this, and I'm excited to discover another Tom Ford cologne. I don't even have any idea how long Tom Ford's been around. I know. I mean, we should do more research now that we're becoming such <laughs> fans because clearly everything we come across we're just mind blown by those scents. I know and I had no idea that he was like a very iconic designer outside of the scent world. Right? In fact we were at my piano player's house and we were telling her about Tom Ford and the little show and everything we got going and on her coffee table on our way out the only thing on it was like this 50 pound book designer that just said, book, yeah. Tom Ford and I'm like Aaron that is who we've been talking about this whole time. Same guy is. same Tom Ford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway so I am excited and from an artisan that I have loved it's so far and we've long only time. covered a couple of the soaps. Yeah. I'm a giant fan of Declaration Grooming. Me too. So I'm excited think? to have another one in our den from them because we just did our 200th episode and we went back and talked about our first soap from them right. and it really left a mark. Their soap was episode number two mm -hmm. of our reviews. So this is exciting it to is. revisit this one. Let's meet the soap. All right, so this is from the sales page at DeclarationGrooming.com. Living up to its name, Mimic morphs from an amorphous form into a shave soap or aftershave inspired by Beau de Jour by Tom Ford. Now, I don't speak French, but I initially thought it meant man of the day, and I had a oh. dumb and dumber joke all teed up for this release. What's the Beau de Jour? It's the man of the day. That sounds good. I'll have that. <laughs> it turns out it means, quote, beauty of the day, which, all right, it works because it's a beautiful scent. The scent is traditionally masculine and has a classic barbershop tone, mm. perfect for any time that will leave you feeling like the man of the day. All right. That's Whoa, <laughs> y'all, Tom Ford approaching a barbershop that's scent? That's uh, intriguing. I have to Oh, uh, where Marcus meets Marcus. I'm <laughs> yes. excited for this one. Let's unbox it. got some new tape here from TRC. Yeah, it's got some exciting. fun little things. Do you even shave, there. bro? BBS? Huh? What oh, shaving wow. saves you money? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then there has their meetup thing on there. Wow. Check Very it out. Very classy, kind of Jason. I love it. And okay. let's open it up. What do you see? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to love you, but we've got a sticker for the Razor Company. I yes. love it. And there it is, Mimic. I got a couple, I think. So don't oh. look at Storm Cloud no, by no, no. Uh, Subtle Art. We're not and doing then, that one yet. You didn't see that. <gasps> oh, yeah. And it comes in the baggie for your protection from the Razor Company. And... There it is, That's pretty colors. Ooh, the milk steak base. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. The declaration grooming number and three. And then another Tom Ford. Ooh, let's have a first impression. Okay, you go first. Oh, boy. Tom Ford Barbershop, I can't handle the stress. Really? I can't oh, no. do it. I can't How am I going to handle it? Well, that way, at least yikes. I can interview you. That's and, true. And if it smells like rotten fish, you can cushion the blow. <laughs> I will do my best. But my expectations are a little through the roof yeah, on this all, one. Yeah, all I'm we've not got is lie. that it's a more uh, masculine barbershop-y, maybe. So... Tom Ooh. Ford takes on the barbershop. Yeah. All right, here it's, we go. It's Take long it overdue to have another declaration grooming. So that's true. Those who like to see the port, oh, there you go. Very nice. Okay. We're big fans of declaration oh, grooming. Here we go. Oh, you know. Oh. I just because we've had a few more of the Tom Forty ones, I can tell 
that it does have a little hint of Tom Ford. Ah, but it okay. does have more of that fresh, clean, oh. not, I don't want to say powdery, but almost almost approaching the barbershop powder so i can see why that's thrown in there okay now between like oud wood and and lost cherry i mean oh, somebody's trying to get up in <laughs> sorry she had her bath and now she wants to show snuggles, it off yeah. on the show. okay so how do you know it's a tom ford like what's cluing you in a little okay bit? i don't want to say it's woodsy but there's something oh. that turns it into more of a colony part oh. there okay it's it's not a specific tom ford that we've had uh, but it does have the complexity. Gotcha. Are there I any set say. notes that you can pick out? It's funny. I'm getting like a, a fresh, clean fog. Ooh. I don't oh. know if yeah. that's like, it's not a mint, but it's like something that has um more of that deep blue kind of an evening approaching Whoa. vibe. Yo, if you had one called Evening Fog, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Ooh, if this and smells like is, a fog but it's, night. But it's like close to the bay somehow because yeah. it's fresh and clean. Like the air coming in is really crisp and clean. Right. We are children of San Francisco Bay, so uh, yeah. it appeals to us. A, it does have more of that middle masculine kind of tone at the end. Oh, okay. But it's not overwhelming masculine like oh, no. i think if someone was wearing this right. i would be like wow they are fresh and cleaned up and ready for the evening like i'm just nice. getting that evening vibe now still. is it barbershoppy it's the clean side the the almost approaching a powder but not gotcha that's right. where the barbershoppy kick i can see why they use that phrase of okay. like approaching a barbershop i will trade you you okay. give me this you, i will give you that i take this I'm Ooh, excited. This is. could be anything. Oh, let's see what I can make sense of this here. Are you ready? I, I'm very curious to see what you think, actually, because I, I'm not sure if I was explaining it very well, right. but I was enough to give some clues. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's throw up, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Mimic. Marcus's take. Whoa. But like how you've been on a search for oh, a clean? You hit the nail on the head with this walks right up to Powder Town and then stays there at the border. Because that's what hit me at first. It was didn't like, roll over it completely powder. Clean, a little tiny bit sweet, just like a powder wood. And then you're right. It there's goes just away. this world that opens up. Wait a and then it turns like Tom Fordland cloning Tom something. Tom Fordland woody. Yeah. Tom Fordland rocky. Like a white wood. Something but you know what? I am so glad you said evening fog, y'all. Y'all, this that work? captures okay. because that happens. We are in one of the places notorious in the entire world for fog shutting down our airports. They even that named the fog. Very <laughs> right. They named the fog. It's very common for us to turn on the news in the morning and see that we can't fly out because mm -hmm. the fog is just too thick. Yep. So I get it. At night, you can see. They call it socked in. You yep. just get that beautiful blanket of gray that comes mm -hmm. in off the bay and just creates this cover mm -hmm. that like is going to be on you for a while. Carl the so, fog is what people say around the SFA right. area. So <laughs> y'all, it is one of the most beautiful things because it yes. moves fast and mm -hmm. you see it rolling in. You can see it's the clouds really moving in. above. Yeah, it rolls in. And that's in there. Oh, y'all. Something cold, something beautiful, something a little mysterious, something on the sweet side, but on the very natural sweet side. Yeah, and not Gourmandi, but Whites something... and grays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why your brain got fog. Yep. Beautiful, stunning whites and grays are just enveloping you with this. It doesn't go dark. Oh, right. You know, like it's not a heavy, dark fall kind of scent. It does, it's in that crispy part. Kind there is something thing. in here that like my brain goes, is that citrus? And then it goes, no, it's not. But it's something just as clean. Is that right. powder? No, no it's, it's not, not. But it's something just as, as comforting. Mm -hmm. What is that thing you in know, the middle? The name Mimic is very fitting because it is mimicking all of those things together without being them. Right. But it's like insanely close. Oh, and you know what? Definitively an aquatic. Are you oh, smelling that? Can, like what mm. a beautiful, like this, this yeah, smells like our you. San Francisco waters. And there is some mysterious wood in there. It's not one that we normally use, but there is something that it, it does have right. that almost it rocky, does. almost dry wood. Like yes. there's something in there. Yep. And the same way you can look at a Monet painting and know that that's a Monet, even if you've never seen it before. That's what this is betraying in its Tom Fordness. Mm -hmm. Because absolutely, when I take this in, I'm just like, this is too beautiful to just mm -hmm. like be a scent that somebody like me would craft in their garage <laughs> when they're trying to make scented candles. No, this is something that somebody amazing, an artisan, a perfuming 
master had to put this together and wow my Isn't hat is it off. funny though i immediately got a place i didn't get a person right no i, I, I do i get a outside. foggy hillside like yeah. overlooking the bay where you can't see it because the fog's too thick right 100 i, I, I just took me there right and gray light mm -hmm. and like white light that's surrounding I, you. yeah i don't know where that is but that's Ooh. where we are and it's clean it's brisk yeah it's it, a, now I would be a little remiss if we couldn't deliver at least one cent note to these lovely people before we give up on this part of the show. Is there anything that you can pick out where you would say, this is definitely in that soap? Because I'm having trouble. I'm really having trouble. I, I know where I'm at, but it's almost they're blended so well, at least in here, that it is really hard. I know you said aquatic, but it's like dancing between. It's a particular oh, flower mixed with a particular wood, mixed with a particular resin, mixed with a yeah. particular rock. It's just, I don't. Yeah, the rock is for sure there, and I don't know what's making that aquatic -y fog no. kind of thing happen. And yet somehow in all of it, something vaguely familiar. I'd and agree. And then it goes away again. And they, there's like three things to me that are like, yeah. is that what I think it is? Nope, I'm not sure. Like the mimic, it totally makes me think of that like deja vu. Like I know this, but I don't. Right. And that's maybe the mimic quality. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe there's a little bit of an answer as to what this is mimicking because there are some scent notes. Let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa. Interesting. I would never have put these no, together. No, but some but of again, these are definitely in the barbershop lane. I get that. That's why Tom Ford makes the big money. Okay, so off the top, we've got... Lavender. And this is, is the barbershop. Yeah, yes. it is. Oh, it totally makes sense. gorgeous lavender coupled with... And look at that next oh, one. Oak moss. So we are outside, people. We are outside. Lavender and oak moss. The beautiful and the masculine in mm -hmm. the barbershop opens its door. Next up. Ooh, oh. we have a pair of set notes that for mm -hmm. me... Ooh, you don't get much better. It's peanut butter right. and chocolate, y'all. It's peanut butter and jelly. Mm -hmm. It is rosemary, rosemary and mint. Which is funny. I almost said it was approaching a mint, but it wasn't. Right. And, but I was wrong. It and was clearly there. And y'all, it is a soft mint. It's mm -hmm. not a peppermint. It's not one of those that's the bracing mints. It's a soft It's like mint. you can see the plant, but it hasn't been ripped to where the scent Ooh, permeates, but right. it's there. Right. Just like when they put a little spearmint leaf in your drink, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, oh yeah. And then look at and that then, next one, which completely works. Rosemary, mint, added basil. And mm -hmm. geranium. You said a floral. Beautiful. And I think those two might go together because yeah. you've got the basil that's the herb and the geranium that's the floral. Okay, I would and for not me, those have are clicking together. Guessed this next one. No, but the more I delve into right? the shaving world, the more I realize that this next scent note mm -hmm. is more like a canvas. Yeah, it's, it's a more like the something. bag that holds all the rest of them, mm -hmm. right? We're looking at patchouli here, people. We are. But a particular kind. It, and it must be like the real, real patchouli, not the SF one that got well, ruined. Yeah, for you, we you watched know? a documentary the other day about the guy from Dior, and he went to Hila, had to venture in three days into right. the actual patchouli Off fields, mm -hmm. and he was smelling like the root of the plant. I was like, Right, it's like right. those. And I those wanted to jump to the sense. screen and smell it because I think that's what we're getting here. Right. And then, last off the bat, we got a little bit of an earthy spice here. We've got amber. Amber. To round Beautiful. it off. And that's literally all we're given here, people. I love that this is for sure a Tom Ford and for sure his barbershop mm -hmm. y'all i bring you glad tidings of great joy this is not one of those barbershops where you smell it and you go oh that's beautiful and i can probably kind of imagine how i could link this to my no right. no no this has got the pole out front this mm -hmm. has got the little brush with all the powder on it this has got a row of guys there reading the paper who the last thing they actually want is a haircut they're just there to hang out that i'm right? smelling this but just in a more modern way yes, you know in a, in a cleaner more sophisticated way right and it's funny because even translated it means beauty of the day which both of us were getting like more sunset right right and that's why you can get a person that's why you got a day a place right? I mean, this that's is the beauty kind of, the of the day right well let's talk about that for a second and for that conversation why don't we go a little deeper <laughs> As we put a little air and water, the basic mm -hmm. elements, into All this right. thing, Give how does here. this describe a beautiful day? Because it sure does. And he had and to come I, up with that funny. name somehow. But you know like when your day is ending and you see the sunset uh, and it was a good day? Yeah. Like you want to just relive that moment of that calm or accomplishment or whatever was about that day right. that you enjoyed. And you know what? I kind of feel like that today because we gave the dog a bath. I did the laundry. We got our big walk. I got all my responsibilities right. done. And like, I kind of feel like that today. So it's right. really fitting that we're doing this so well. Right. And that. as like the day ends, you're like, wow, I feel like I did everything I wanted to. Things that needed to happen did seamlessly. Uh-oh. The we florals. Oh, really? Just with a little water on it, the florals are coming out beautifully. Okay, mix that up. Mix okay, that up. Let's see what things happens. are happening. 
happening with our TRC bowl here. And, you know, I got to say thanks to Declaration Grooming because the second soap that we did of theirs was called Massacre of the Innocents. And when I first smelled that, it was a scent that just hit the most amazing centers of my brain. And it turns out, if you can read between the lines of their sales page, which we couldn't at the time. No, we were new. It's (laughs) it's an homage to a famous cologne called Herod. Um, So, y'all, if you know it, put it in the comments. Because between the cinnamon and the incense, it is just one of my favorite things. So, Declaration Grooming... Ooh, and it was so much of a favorite that you had to De- track oh, down. Track down the splash, track down the Barrett EDP right? homage and it everything else. It was serious. Else. It left a mark. And this one, <laughs> this one's leaving another. Oh, wow. You're right. Things. Wow. Okay, this got way more masculine. This is pretty- doing the exact same thing. Uh, we got to go to the Declaration Grooming page. Okay, okay. And see what else here, here. Wait, over there. keep that out. We're going to do our comparative oh, whiff. Oh, the comparative whiff. Ladies and gentlemen, because this is something you will only see are here, happening here on the Barbershop 2. Ed, ready? On three, the comparative whiff. One, two... Yeah. Whoa. It exploded over here. That's totally different. It just like came alive. Like I get a little more daytime. Like it's not, Whoa. the fog is approaching. I, but I it gave is out a the award sunset. last week for the most transformed in the lather, but you I did. think I might have to take that award back and, this is, uh, yeah, I was and not expecting re-award it to it the to folks at DG. I mean, I almost would say even like the potency went up a little bit. I don't That's know how. Right. right. No, that happens in the lather it, sometimes. It totally did. <laughs> Wow. I'm really glad you got this one because I didn't even really see it go by. But the cover color is one of my favorites. So I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't even realize what he was reading. But clearly. Every once in a while, like, I'm not psychic for anything useful. (laughs) I don't know when the lottery numbers are coming or anything like that. nothing. But I can look at a soap on a sales page and go. That one. We need that one. That one right there. Non-negotiable. That one's, be a that one's banger. I just have a banger detector, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, y'all, this one hit all those places, and I was not But wrong. on your search to find a different type of clean, <gasps> smell that. Right. Right. And it goes even further than I would even want it to, and I love it! Y'all, I'm surprised my picture is not on the sticker on right? the soap. This, it just has it. This is incredible. And and what I love best about that scent that I am on a quest for, when I find it, and this might, might be, be a, a contender, yeah. y'all, there are no scent notes that you can tell. No, because and- I don't want to sit next to somebody with my ultimate clean smell on and have them go, oh, that's lavender. Oh, that's bergamot. No, I want mystery. Yeah. I want it to be so clean and amazing and new that nobody knows what it is. That it's just mm-hmm. this like uber clean. I want more of this. I love sitting here smell and this. <gasps> kind of goes with the name. And Maybe. I think that's why I, I love that I really couldn't pick out a single set note because it means the blend is so amazing and so approaching. That perfect note of being clean and beautiful day. I love that the original is named that. And I think what I love most about this is the intensity. It, yeah. That all of the elements are so beautifully present. And yet, in this balance, I can't pick out a single one. No. Like, wow. That's impressive. Wow. I, it really, really does hit the clean, the escape of right. the day. Like, there's just a calming element to it. Intriguing. Ah, Even though this good. is clean and bright and beautiful, there's still something about it that as I smell it, I go, no. I need more of that. What is that? What is that? What is that? Mm -hmm. I need to know what that is. Tom Ford does that. I think Found Cherry does that. I think Bitter Peach does that. Mm -hmm. Yo, y'all, I don't think you're going to actually find the heart of this beautiful day until at least your fifth or sixth whip, and you're going to have an amazing time doing it. It's going to be one of those ones you want to keep wearing because you want to keep trying to figure it out. Yes. It's just lovely in its negative space about how you're like Mm -hmm. looking for everything and you're getting all of these amazing edges of these incredible smells. It is it, to me. It does have a little bit more masculine than feminine. Obviously, it's kind of the Tom Ford kind okay. of vibe. But it is one of those scents. If I smelled it on any man, uh-huh. I'd be like, "Wow, you smell awesome!" Like it has that immediate, like, right. "Ooh, I want it." Like you were saying earlier, you want to keep spending time near that person right. or thing. A bright, clean, fresh, wide-eyed, ready for the day, younger guy. That's what I feel like this is. Just you know, there's no worries. Like you know, it's life without the wrinkles. Like you're just enjoying life, kind of vibe. Wow. I don't know. And that's totally what I'm aquatic, but not at all a beach. Nope. Can we be clear on that? Nope. Like beautiful bay, a beautiful lake, a beautiful no, ocean. We're really but spoiled here. It's kind of what we get. And we got California. all three of those, right? But yeah. not, not a beach. I don't no. get like the sandiness. I just get like the water. And I really don't get any vibe of like city life for some reason. No, that's another great point. None of this is surrounded by skyscrapers. Right? <gasps> you know, like all those videos right. you see on YouTube with someone standing on the top of a cliff in the fog and they have their little GoPro going around them and there's no buildings in sight. It's not country. 
But it's beautiful solitude. Yeah, it's just oh, wonderful I nature that. escape. Like, I, I really am uh, glad that you pulled the plug on this. And it was a Tom Ford we had never heard of, yeah, which is even more fun. Because now we're going to have to explore that, clearly, if we're enjoying this. Because wow. my, oh my, it's right. a thing. So it's pretty simple, y'all. All you have to do is jump out of bed like you're getting off the bench at a basketball game. Watch a few of your premiere episodes on YouTube. And then get ready for the day. Make a beautiful pot of coffee. Do some laundry. Take the dog for a big old walk. And then, when it comes time to shoot your video, you've already had a beautiful day and got your own. So head over to declarationgrooming.com where you can find this and a ton of other stuff I want. Well, I've had my shave with Mimic. Y'all, what an extraordinary base this Declaration Grooming is. Let me tell you, as I learn how to make a lather as my journey wears merrily forward, this is one of the most rewarding and beautiful bases I have used yet. And the scent, y'all, I haven't decided yet if this is the most beautiful outdoor day with florals and trees or if this is the most beautiful indoor day with brand new carpeting, fresh paint, and cashmere. Like, it's just got all of it mixed in together in a way that only Tom Ford and the most beautiful cologne houses can even begin to figure out. Y'all, what a fantastic idea to make a shave soap with this one. It was a beautiful day. <laughs> Welcome to Messaging. Hey, y'all. So Matt at Teton Shaves in Idaho, he sent us one of the most beautiful brushes we have ever seen. And he is including a code so that we can give away any brush on his page to y'all for free. Yay! And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be a subscriber here at the Barbershop Duet on YouTube. Be a follower of Matt and Teton Shaves on social media. Mm -hmm. And send us an email here to we sent you at the Barbershop Duet.com and mention Teton Shaving. And you might be our lucky winner. Check back on I'm May 1st to see if it's you. I love that with the original, after he had done Found Cherry, after he had done Bitter Peach, after he had done Oud Wood, after he had done Tobacco, after he had done Vanilla, he just took on a beautiful day. Yeah. I just want to make a beautiful day smell. Maybe a little bit of an homage to a barbershop, something mm -hmm. clean and comfortable and well put together and just so sophisticated in its balance that it is for scent what Monet right. is for the eye. And it's super fun that it happened, that we opened it now because we just got our extra hour from Daylight Savings. And for, you know, you get more out of the day right. and being outside. Like it really does fit that we're opening it right, right. now. And the it's summer beautiful. coming, we get even more of a beautiful yeah, day now. This we get is to fun. enjoy the sunshine a little bit more. Declaration Grooming, thank you for being there at the very beginning of our journey, and thank you for continuing to blow our skirts up as it continues, because this is on my favorites list, mm -hmm. for sure. Exactly. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. Oh, you'll smell better just watching this. Mm -hmm.